Is he running from someone? Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualam has marked Majduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Majduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your play. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. I'm so hungry. Just a little well, money, I beg of you. My, I wonder if you're being chased by someone. Altair, I meant to meet a contact nearby, but the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination?
Good. I should be safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Him to run like that. <laughs> I am sorry, Ahmad. They came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. I won't allow it. But what can we do? Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution. Perform it even. He enjoys the act. Truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. Someone should stop him before he hurts himself. We all hold darkness in our hearts. Each I day is a struggle to remain strong. Thousands of lives are lost in its defense. Damned archers. We are to launch an assault against one of Medjduddin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming. Or we will have to begin again. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Shama, there will be no stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. And it is our duty to defend the city of death. And one who turns his back on the law. But the law was given to us by God. Glorious and exalted is he. If you disrespect him, there is no greater evil than this. Must be understands. He works to cast out the wicked among us, that we may live righteous lives. We all hold darkness in our hearts. Each day is a struggle to remain strong in our faith. And we are only human. We might falter, we might fail. Majdudin oh! is here to see that even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. Confess to him, and he will show mercy. But if you try to run, Hi. When is he he will be the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. I'm starting to understand why Al-Mualim favors you. I assume you have been sent to deal with Medjuddin, yes? Then it might help you to know that he enjoys lecturing his prisoners before executing them. While doing so, he turns his back to the crowd. It would be the perfect moment for you to strike. Now, I must attend to my men. We have our own targets to deal with. Fighting for the darkness in our hearts. 
Each day is a struggle to remain strong in our faith. But we are only human. We might falter. We might fail. Majduddin is here to see that even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. Confess to him, and he will show mercy. But, should you try to run, to hide, you will be found and made to pay. There is no harm in naming them, those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith, without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. My life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> You again, Grandmaster. Safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they asked me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujduddin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. What would make someone move so quickly? Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. <laughs> no, please don't leave. Just a few points. He's going to hit someone. هل تحتاج شيئا ما؟ لا رأيك Please, can't you spare something? I'll be right here, don't you worry. You are the best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, Master. I was cleaning the temple steps. 
I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. wants us to repair a stage for another execution, today. It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Were it that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city? Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Adin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason, executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come, let us return to work. novice I am not a novice a man's skill is defined by his actions not the markings on his robe we can trade barbs or do El Muallim's work it's your decision then be out with it Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here it's sure to be well guarded but it's nothing I can't handle I know what to do and that is why you remain a novice in my eyes you cannot know anything, only suspect. You must expect to be wrong, to have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They saw the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. Curse you all! See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you. But I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! <laughs> Temptress! Succubus! Oh. She goes by many names. Her sin remains the same. She turned her back upon the teaching. Defile her body to advance her station. Each man she touched forever stained. This man speaks lies. I am here today not because I laid down with other men, for I did not. He means to murder me because I would not lie down with him. Even now. Offered redemption, she continues to deceive. She rejects salvation. There is only one way to deal with this. A game of chance condemns me to death. Show me where such a thing is written. It is not sin that corrupts our city, but you. What was not his? Money earned through the labor of another. It could have belonged to any of you. And so, you have all been violated. What say you to this? Shame. Curse that thief. It was a single dinar from the big road. He speaks as though I trespassed, as though I ripped it from the hands of another. Today a dinar, tomorrow a horse, the next day another man's life! The object itself is not of consequence. What matters is that you took what did not belong to you. Were I to allow such behavior, then others would believe it their right to take as well. When would it end? 
finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way that people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Ready? 
Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nutjobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy. Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Thank you. 